Caris is a unique facility for studying animals in Wageningen University and research. Why studying animals? Well, animals are intriguing, but also animals are inspiring. We can learn from the animals. And last but not least, we have a responsibility to take good care of the animals. The society of the future faces big challenges. Sustainable nutrition security, water scarcity and water quality, climate change, biodiversity loss. How can animals contribute to facing those challenges? And what we have here is the respiration units for fish. They are unique in Europe. We are measuring here energy and nitrogen balances of trout. So we measure how much nutrients are lost in the feces and how much the fish can use for growth. Why is this research so important? There is simply not enough fish meal and fish oil around the world. And we need to find alternative ingredients to feed fish. So ingredients that do not compete with human food consumption. I think this research will partially contribute to enable the growth of the aquaculture sector to provide future generations of mankind with valuable protein sources. Caris is Latin and means caring. We take care for our animals. We are studying behavior of the animals, we are studying the feeding of the animals, we are studying the biology, the physiology of the animals, and think about the animal welfare. Hi, Lisbeth. Hi. What are you sampling for? Uh, I'm taking a saliva sample as a non-invasive way to measure, for instance, stress hormones. We are uh, investigating uh, the impact of early life conditions on the health and welfare and cognition of animals. Uh, and I think we can contribute uh, to uh, the animals' adaptive capacity and resilience by improving the way that they are uh, bred and kept and fed. And we also do fundamental research uh, to enhance our knowledge on how animals feel for instance on emotional expressions and empathy and social support and uh, for this we use the behavioral test rooms of CARES. A very important role of livestock is producing our food, healthy food, nutritious food. Think of milk, meat, eggs. They produce that food from biomass that we cannot eat. They convert it, they digest it into these protein-rich products. But there are also major societal concerns regarding animal food production. Think about the use of human food to feed animals. And think about the impact on the climate change of animal production. So, Martin, now we are inside the respiration chamber. And these uh, respiration chambers, they are considered a golden standard for measuring energy uh, efficiency. And here you are measuring solutions for reducing the methane production by cows? Exactly. These, these results will be used in a model in which farmers, dairy farmers, can reduce nutrient losses via the manure. So they can feed their cows in a more efficient way. We also can measure based on the diet this cow eats, how much methane is produced. Methane is considered a critical greenhouse gas and the Dutch dairy sector is committed by uh, reducing it uh, with 30% in 2020, so it's very important that we know how to do it. May we invite you to work together to address the global challenges such as sustainable nutrition security, climate change and animal stewardship. Animals have an important role to play with us. Let us find answers together. <laughs>